Ukraine is finally getting to hit Russia hard with its wonder weapons. Letting Ukraine attack Russian military targets directly with its wonder weapons is beginning to turn the tide of the war in Kyiv's favor, says a retired UK colonel. For too long, Ukraine has had to fight the invading Russians with one hand tied behind its back. Hamish, the Breton Gordon, wrote in a commentary for The Telegraph. According to Business Insider, the former soldier held multiple appointments in his 23-year military career with the British Army. At least, however, that is beginning to change. From now, with permissions granted from various Western countries, but most crucially the United States, Ukraine can strike targets far deeper, De Breton Gordon said. Last month, Politico reported that the Biden administration had given Ukraine its permission to use US-provided weapons on Russian targets in Kharkiv. Russian forces launched an assault on the region in May as part of a summer offensive on Ukraine's second largest city. Whilst it is still obliged to prioritize the Kharkiv front by the nature of the permissions granted, there is evidence that it has freed up the Ukrainian armed forces to use the other weapons it had in reserve to strike elsewhere, De Breton Gordon noted in his commentary. The former colonel listed several of Ukraine's recent military accomplishments, which included drone assaults on Russian naval vessels at Taganrog Bay and the Aktubinsk airfield in southern Russia. The latter attack resulted in the destruction of Russia's latest stealth aircraft, the Su-57 fighter bomber. For too long, Kiev was fighting an uneven battle, putting it in the impossible position of seeing Russia massing troops across its own border unable to hit them, De Breton Gordon said. Now that has changed. I think the Kharkiv front will begin to turn back in Kiev's favor. The recent turn of events, De Breton Gordon said, wasn't something that Russia could simply withstand by relying on attritional warfare. Russia cannot sustain the industrial level of casualties it is currently facing, over 500,000 so far. I don't care how good Russia's industrial complex is. In the modern era, that figure is simply not sustainable, he said. But Ukraine's accomplishments in the battlefield could risk further Russian escalation. Germany announced the transfer of new military aid to Ukraine. According to the German government website, the assistance package will include 10 Leopard 1A1 tanks and ammunition for them, 20 Martyr tracked infantry vehicles and ammunition, Iris T SLM medium range anti aircraft missile system, small radius anti aircraft missile system Iris T SLS, three HIMARS rocket artillery systems, two armored engineering vehicles docks, armored repair and recovery vehicle Bergepanzer II, four Wissant 1 demoning vehicles with spare parts. 16 fuel tankers, ammunition, boats, small weapons and more. This military assistance is delivered in two different ways, on the one hand there are the federal government funds for security capacity building, which are used to finance deliveries of military equipment and other material from industry. On the other hand, there are deliveries from federal armed forces stocks. In total, the Federal Republic of Germany has so far provided or committed for future years. Military assistance with a value of approximately 28 billion euro. Funds for the Security Capacity Building Initiative in 2024 alone for military assistance to Ukraine amount to approximately 7.1 billion euro. From these also Germany's contributions to the European Peace Facility of the European Union are financed. So far already approximately 5 billion euro in 2023 and approximately 1.6 billion euro in 2022 were spent on military assistance to Ukraine. Additional approximately 2.9 billion euro have been committed in the first two years of the war for deliveries, which will arrive only in the years 2025 to 2028. Since the beginning of the Russian armed attack on Ukraine on February 24, 2022 Germany has delivered material from Federal Armed Forces stocks amounting to approximately 5.2 billion euro reflecting estimated replacement values. Also, more than 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers have received military training in Germany.